Kawhi Club Online, Mini Snow Globes. Hi, tweens. This month, you'll be making mini snow globes similar to the containers found in gumball machines. In your kit, you'll find three gumball containers, different color bases, a pot of glycerin, a bag of Sculpey clay, a bag of glitter, some glue, this is uh, strong craft glue, and some slime charms. These slime charms will be different depending on your kit. You should have three in each. All right, to get started, you're going to take your Sculpey clay and you're going to pinch off a, por a portion of it. You should have enough to make three snow globes. So you'll want to divide it into the thirds, pinch off a part, soften it up, and make a ball shape. You're going to use this to form a base for your slime charm so that it'll stand up straight in your snow globe. Now, if you've got something like the sheep, all you need to do is flatten it out and then take it out of the base so you can bake it according to the included instructions. If you are doing one for the donut or the um, ice pops, then you may want to put your shape into the Sculpey clay to make an impression so that when it bakes and hardens, you'll have a nice uh, strong base for your slime charm. All right, after you've baked it, according to the instructions included, it comes out of the oven and is cool. It'll be nice and hard. You're going to take your craft glue and be, be careful with the craft glue. It will stick to your fingers and it is very strong. So you're going to glue your Sculpey clay base into your snow globe base. And if you're doing your donut or ice pop, you're going to use a lot of glue and glue it in place. Now, for some of the charms, you may need to hold on to the um, charm as it sets because it'll, if they're top heavy, they may start to wobble. But it, with this glue, it should set pretty quickly. And then you'll be ready for the next step. All right, after your glue has dried, and now I'm gonna be working with one I did earlier, which is the sheep. You're going to take your lid and add some water till it almost reaches the top, but not quite. You wanna leave room for a little bit of glycerin. You should have enough glycerin for each of your snow globes. You just need a drop. This will allow the glitter to fall slowly rather than um, to sink to the bottom. You'll add a pinch of your glitter. Just a bit. These are small, so they don't need a lot. And then you're going to glue all around the edge of your container. This will keep it from leaking when it dries. In this video, I'd already glued most of it. And then you're going to carefully put your base on top, closing it, trying not to get glue on your fingers, trying not to spill the water and glycerin mixture. If a little bit of it does come out, you can wipe it away with a paper towel. It's fairly easy cleanup. Once the um, glue has dried, if you've used enough, it should be waterproof shouldn't leak like our little avocado guy right here and when you're done you should have three very cute snow globes thanks for joining us this month I hope you enjoy them and we'll see you next year in January bye tweens